Uh, basically, uh, Mr. Collins was the uh, the CEO of Mercantile mm -hmm. and Sixteen Thousand, and um, basically this arbitration was uh, against. Um, uh, sorry, Hamilton. Hamilton, right? yes. Hamilton, because of their failed acquisition. Mm -hmm. And this morning, we were able to learn why that happened to be. Um, it was because the the funds that were meant to be raised to to acquire part show ownership or control of uh, Mercantile mm -hmm. uh, due to their um, crypto capabilities mainly. Uh, that's why they were a point of interest. But because of the funds being seized, mm -hmm. they weren't able to follow through with the, the full uh, acquisition. acquisition. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Like the first payment basically was seized by, um, was it the U.S. Marshals, right? Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. U.S. And Marshals. And then I heard, is it is it true that the Mercantile Bank came back at us at uh, the Himalaya Exchange? Uh, because they didn't, you know, did not, did not, uh, did not successful, unsuccessful acquisition. Mm -hmm. oh, they came back at us and then and then sued Himalaya Exchange. For Is that right? twenty million, if I yeah, I, I believe there's an arbitration. Yeah, yes. there's an arbitration. Yeah. It's arbitration, and then it was uh, it was uh, the result was being uh, the result was being that Himalaya Exchange paid paid tw twenty million to to uh, Mercantile Bank because uh, of the. Uh, I'm not too clear on that because okay. they never brought it up in court. Okay. The all um all that was brought up was that. But uh, the acquisition was unsuccessful. Yeah, it was right? unsuccessful. Right, because yeah. the the fund in Human yeah. Exchange was was seized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Um and and this is this is what's caused the arbitration. Yeah. Right between yeah. H Hamilton and uh, the Mercantile mm -hmm. yeah. Bank. Right. Yeah. Okay. What do you know? Did he explain why he chose Human Exchange? Yeah. Uh, uh, he was actually more interested because when mm -hmm. William G came up to him with the proposition, he was also considering some other uh, investors. Yeah. Right. Um, I forgot. Which other investor it was? Do you remember? Uh, I'm, was not sure. F F it was, I'm not sure the name. But so you mean like mention, there's a yeah. bit of competition? Right. You know, and you know, and then, also, you know, as the Malay Exchange was trying yeah. to to you know find a partner in this exactly, too. So, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So like because you know Mercantile had competition uh, as to who would want to do like the partnership. Mm -hmm. You know they obviously did a lot of background checks and yeah. concluded yes. that they want to go forward with the partnership with. Uh, Despite uh, all the the things they they read about, yes. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And one key point to mention is that you know, the witness said Mercantile was the first U.S. bank to hold digital assets in custody. Mm -hmm. um, so the first ever, okay. right? And they said that they might not provide. Uh, you know their services for certain cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. because you know due to regulations you know mm -hmm. commercial prospects mm -hmm. or uh, concerns right. about onboarding certain you know cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. but the fact that they you know they did all their research all their due diligence right and mm -hmm. they chose to uh, onboard Himalaya exchange and take them on as a customer mm -hmm. you know it just sh sh goes to show uh, you know prove the legitimacy of Himalaya exchange mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. oh, yes. entities you know because they're the one yeah. receiving the money right yeah so. and then you know also did re really thorough due diligence i'm sure Mm -hmm. And they on G clubs and G fashion as well. Okay. And um, they found that the UBO of all those entities was not Miles mm -hmm. or any you know any of his um, family mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. And you know they found that Miles uh, didn't have operational control right. at all over G clubs, G fashion, or Himalaya Exchange. Because um, I remember because I was there on the direct, the mm -hmm. beginning of the direct, yeah. right? And I remember him mentioning that. Um, you know, was all the diligence when they were doing the diligence and the KYC, they didn't that they they they, they find that Miles was not the the, the ultimate beneficial owner yeah. mm -hmm. of any of the entities. Yeah, exactly, and then yeah. the question was asked, oh, if you knew he was the the beneficial the UBO, yeah. would mm -hmm. you still do business with him? And then and then and then he said no. Yeah, right mm -hmm. for all of the three entities. Yeah. So I, I I thought my I thought that the argument they're trying to bring up or the connection they're trying to make is that oh he is not the the UBO on paper yeah. but he actually has a say in yeah. it is that am I correct Yeah. They're trying to you know Yeah. The prosecution is trying to make that point, mm -hmm. but I mean, Sid was very clear in saying does he have operational control? Mm -hmm. So operational control wouldn't mean on paper I mean you know in the day to day yes. activities and the witness clearly answered no to all those three questions. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he also mentioned that, you know, they conduct, conducted a risk profile on risk profile. Miles before, you know, found in his past history. And, you know, they determined that, you know, it would be very problematic mm -hmm. for Mercantile if he was connected to anything, right. which is why, you know, um, like you said earlier, yeah. that um, if he was a UBO, then they would not choose to do business with mm -hmm. uh, 
all these entities, right? And also that they were experiencing cash crunch. And that was also during the time that they were introduced to this investment opportunity, mm -hmm. right? So it was like, like we said, very, very beneficial for yeah, both for people both. to move forward with this relationship. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as mentioned yesterday, it was actually very unfortunate that we we learned that Mercantile had actually closed down operations <laughs> yes. one day before that um, Mr. Collins was testifying. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that was last, uh, I believe mm -hmm. it was last Thursday that happened, right? Yeah, yeah it right. was winding down.